Okay. Did I do it? Am I still on? Hopefully the recording saved. I told it to save. Hi. Am I live? Hello, am I live? Night, Rihanna. Thanks for hanging in there. All right. I think I got this little piece figured out here. I need to clean my brush off. Get some fresh glue, I think. Wow, that was a snug fit. That one gold one on the end here. Got her in there. All right. Sheesh. Uh, okay, like I said, I'm going to need a bio break. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll be right back. Coming, coming. Sorry about that, but it had to happen. <laughs> Grab myself a little Weight Watcher friendly snack while I was up there. I'm getting kind of hungry. Don't want my blood sugar doing stupid things to me. These Cozy Shack rice puddings. They're, I think they're gluten free, which I don't really need to monitor, but uh, they're 90 calories, and uh, they are really tasty if you like rice pudding. So, okay. Need to get another fresh blob of glue out here. It's getting a little crusty. But, you know, you do one, honey. I know why you're here. Mommy's got food. You are such a little food hoe you are. Come on, handsome little boy. Yes, you are. You said, Mommy, nobody opens a wrapper without me knowing something's happening with food. You can goober up your brush with that paint, let me tell you. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, somebody told me to mention something about Marilyn before. So we do an art, I call it an art weekend. It's not a retreat, like a retreat that you've been to before. It's a gathering of art friends for a long weekend in Maryland at a hotel that's a facility. Um, if you fly to BWI, 
They have a shuttle that comes to pick you up. It's five minutes away from the airport. Um, all your meals are included, plus two different snacks each day, AM and PM snack. Your price pays for your art room instruction. Uh, the art room we have for 24-7 while we're there. And if you can come in early on Tuesday, we're going to do some sort of a fun thing at the Queen's Inc. We don't know exactly what it's going to be, if it's going to be demos or a mini class or whatever, but we'll have a an afternoon evening at the Queen's Inc. on Tuesday. We officially start gathering at noon on Wednesday. Wednesday's kind of a get to know you, get your space set up kind of a day. Um, hopefully, Jane will do some marbling demos. Um, Zandra's going to uh, do a little mini class with her tear bears that she does. And um, I'm going to teach a polymer clay tile class on Thursday. Paula's going to teach a journaling and jelly printing class on Friday. Saturday is a free day. Last year we, um, we went on a shopping extravaganza to every art store in the vicinity. Um, some people elected to stay back and just play in the art room. The pricing for the classroom experience, it's, it's tricky the way that they align it. There's two separate things that you pay for. You pay for your hotel room which for a single room with taxes, it's about 157 a night. A double room with taxes, it comes out to about $200 a night, so it's 100 bucks a person a night for a double room. That sleeping room also includes your breakfast and your dinner every day. Dinner on the day you arrive and breakfast on the day you depart, both meals for every day in between. And I'm telling you, it's, I'm here to tell you it's a huge spread, and any of the ladies online here that were there last year can attest to the food. It was awesome. Um, then the other charge is a total of $380. That plays, pays for your class space, instruction. It also includes your lunch every day and the AM and PM snacks, which isn't just a little pack of peanuts or something. It's a little mini spread of savory and sweet and fruit and drinks and coffee, cold sodas and stuff in the morning and in the evening and the afternoon. Um, so uh, that's the deal. If you're interested, you can email me or Facebook me and let me know and I'll send you a link to a survey that I'll need you to do to get some of your information. And then I'll need a hundred dollar deposit, which is non-refundable right off the bat to hold your spot. Um, and then the 280 isn't due until uh, July 1st at the latest. I mean, some people are already paying me. Um, but um, you do have until July 1st. Sorry, I'm distracted here trying to multitask, which I'm not very good at anymore. Um, hey, Sophia. So, um, yeah, what the hell was I saying? How many people will be there? We are, I think right now we're at 29. So it was a lot of fun last year. Um, people, I think, learned a lot and shared a lot and laughed a lot. Some drank a lot. But that's another story. Can't mention any names, CB. Thanks, Sophia. I got it for five bucks at a secondhand store. Mojo's here to lick my pudding cup. So anyway, if you have any um, any other questions, like I said, just get in touch with me and I'll send you the link to the survey and all the other information that you'll need to make a decision. Um, uh, 
and I'm not sure if you want to go, this would be the year to do it because I'm not 100% convinced that I'm going to do it again next year. Um, for, uh, for several reasons, um, not many of which have to do with the event itself, but <laughs> it's a lot of work, a lot of organizing, a lot of time. I work full time plus some, um, um, and I've had, you know, a lot of people in and out uh, of the thing this year, which just, I understand the reasons and it's going to happen, but it's stressful because my name's on the contract and i got to pay for it. Whether we go or not at this point, I've signed for it. So it's on me. Um, so anyway, what I'm saying is this is the year because I'm not sure I'm going to do it. Maybe it will be like an every other year thing or something like that. I don't know. We shall see. All right. Where was I? See, what gets tricky here is when you get to this point is that you kind of got yourself into a corner with trying to not get like pieces. Like, see these three right here? One, two, three. They're cut from the same piece. There's one over here. I like to kind of spread them out some. They seem clustered too close to me to use that, but I like that tile and it fits there. That's my dilemma. Um, and here's another piece of purple, but I feel like there should be more purple over here to balance it out, and there isn't. So I don't want to put even more over here and weight it that way. This one's kind of neutral. I could probably stick this little booger anywhere and it'll be okay. It'd be nice if it was a little bit thinner. I think I'm going to make it a little bit thinner. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, Jane. You wouldn't believe what I had to go through with the hotel to find out if we could do polymer clay in there because of the ovens. I mean, that took from uh, before Thanksgiving until probably late January before I got the final okay. And I knew that it would work. I just wanted to make sure before I committed people to fly in, paying for their flights and, you know, paying for supplies. And that's what we're promoting that we're going to teach. And lo and behold, the room won't handle it. Well, I figured that it would. It's an, you know, it's a facility. If I can have an oven plugged in here, surely they can have four of them spread around that huge room. But it was back and forth, and no, I don't think we can do it. And you have to put them in your room. And I thought, sweet Jesus. I finally got it sorted out. Then they were shutting down for the holiday. And, uh, <laughs> good Lord, somebody tell me something. Yeesh. But finally got it sorted. I mean, if I had to, I'd just put one or two in my room and one or two in Paula's room and we'd run back and forth, but that would be a pain in the ass. To put it mildly. But guess what? The room can handle it just fine. <laughs> I know, it has to be it's a facility. Certainly it does, but... Geez. Nothing's easy. Right, what am I going to put in here? I'd like to get some more white. White, white, white. This one's kind of nice. I can cut a little bit of that end off of there and use that one, I believe. I think if I do it again next year, um, I'm just going to ask for all the money up front and really get a commitment from the people that are going to go and 
and then I'm comfortable enough to sign for that much money on the dotted line with like it's on it's on me. There's no company that it's against. It's just it's just on me. So that's a little worrisome. Oop, oop, almost got that one stuck in there. I mean, I know things come up all the time, and you can't, uh, you know, some things, circumstances change. Um, but still makes it kind of tough to try to keep up with the monitor. As I'm talking with my brush in my mouth. Eileen, why don't you just bring your mom with you? I mean, let's think out of the box here, people. Get a double room. You get a room right on the eighth floor, right where we are. We'll take turns relieving you. Sorry guys, I had to get something something in me. Yes, I am eating off camera. Bad hostess. And that's Mojo. That's not me licking the bowl. That's Mojo. <laughs> in case you can hear that. <laughs> right, Mo? You're a good boy. You're a good puppy. Yes, you are. Now, what if I want to get a little more white up here somewhere? See, I got too much black and white here, here, here. Huh. I like these little stripey ones, they're kind of cool. Bring a different pattern in there. That might not be bad right there. Let's see. What you itching over there, Mojo? Huh, huh, huh. I'm thinking. Hang on. Sorry, Sorry baby. Let me try to. Let me see what I put back in my colored bin over here. Another one of those, but like I said, it's too many over there. Oh, maybe I could grab a little end of this turquoise and pull some of that over here. And put that one up there. Oh, there's another little bit of that. That could work. Oh, there's another piece of that. That's kind of cool, but again, I'm in the corner. Interesting. Oh, there's another piece of that. Find different little bits every time I dig through here. Oh, there's another little piece of that. That might work somewhere. 
All right. Thanks, Lynn. See ya. Have a good week. There's a little skinny purple. And another purple. A little stick of gold. Let's see what I can make do with those. Okay. Two whites. That looks like somebody smiling and winking or something. Better put it that way. I don't know about that. I like how you see the gold through it and it brings some white into it, but not sure I'm loving it. All right, what else did I bring out here? There was turquoise. That would go right there. I'm going to commit to that piece being in there right now. There's more turquoise here, but that's okay. That's kind of everywhere. I'm just talking out loud like because this is my thought process of why I put stuff where I put it. This little bright chunk of love right there, maybe. Somewhere. Too much turquoise. Break that up. Maybe. up there. Oh shoot, did I cut it off too crooked? That's a little grout won't fix. Sure, that's going to work. <laughs> Maybe I got to take this one. <laughs> Come on. You're making me crazy. Too much black and white. Maybe this goes in there. Uh, 
thing in there. I'm going to take it while I can get it right there. Is the chat still going, guys, or am I? Are you guys just quiet right now? I haven't seen it move for five minutes. That doesn't seem right. Somebody say something so I can see you're there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, CB, thanks for hanging in there. Talk to you later. I gotta watch my time too, because I gotta 3.30, I gotta wrap it up whether I'm done or not. So let's try to make it done, shall we? Shall we, shall we? I'm gonna put that right up there. I like that color. And it'll put another piece of that similar color on the field here. All right, let's see. I need something. Ha, ha, ha. Ah. Crap, I gotta cut a little bit more. Now it's all gluey. There we go. Get in there, you little rascal. Maybe a little of that. Just a little bit. A little teeny bit. Oh, well, that goes in there pretty well. I might just have to put a strip of grout in between there. Possibly. Let's see. All right, where's that little skinny piece? Still not skinny enough. Put a little piece in there though, I think. Whoops, I'm gonna go right there. That works. Now, can I get a little bit of you right in there, maybe? Just a little bit thick. I think I'll go to brain surgery school after this. develop my skills. There we go. Sheesh. Put 
wasn't for this, I'd probably already be finished. Just saying. Just saying. If I cut a little bit of that off of there. That crap it started to crumble on me. I'm taking it. Taking it. All right. Oh, it looks like I missed a funny story. Darn it. All right. Responsibility. Right now, I need something skinny. Are you going there? I don't know if I do that. Bring that white wand and just cut it right there. All right. Whoops. Don't break the tile. <sighs> Go in there with a little adjustment. All right, let's take up some of this space here. And my eye is off. I'm cutting this more crooked and more crooked. Yikes. Thanks, you Belisha. Glad you could stop by. Grab this one while I can. I'm going to hit this with glue. Oh, I got it on my brush. And we're narrowing it down, kids. You are going to fit. You really are.
her or not. All right. Phew. Glory. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Too much checkers right next to checkers. A little checkers anywhere. Too much. Let's check these. One more maybe. Don't want to go in there. Cut it. Oops. I think that was my lock. Huh. Yep, that works. All right. I need a little skinny something something. This do you work up there? little bit back there. Let's try that. Whew. All right. And I know I had a little, here we go. Let's go. Oh, you're going to go right in there, buddy. Yes, you are. Whether you like it or not, that's where you're going to go. I'm the boss of you, little pile. Yep, there we go. Yay! Now let's see. I got this little skinny mess over here to deal with. Maybe I can put a little strip of purple in there. Is that possible? Oops, just broke that. But it had to be shorter anyway, so no big loss there. Let's try that. Let's see where that gets me. Shorter. I think that might do it actually. Let's see if I can get some glue in there without buggering up the edge of the frame or that tile. <laughs> You're talking about this one, Eileen? I mean, uh, Jane? That's, yeah, that's Eileen's right. That's Green Pepper Press, if that's what you're talking about. Michelle Ward. Yep. A little too big. Oh, rascal. Crap. Almost got it. Come on. Don't be giving me any trouble. I got you almost perfect. Ah, shit. Oops, said the S word. Broke the very little tip off of that, but I'm still going to put it in there. 
Jeez Louise. Can't even hardly tell, but yikes. Uh, I'm sneaking up on it, guys. A couple little places. I might be able to get another little something in there. Uh, Another little fraction right there. Not much more, but I'm just going to beat around the rest of it. See if I am. So I think everything else that I can fill with tiles is filled. This one's going to be too skinny. That one's too skinny. Okay, let me zoom this out. All right, so that's where it is right now. And you can see around the dome of this Gothic, see the gold paint showing through in these, where these right angles meet here, here, here. And this little bit right here is open. And there's a couple lines over in this section here, here, here. They're going to need some kind of grout. So what I'm going to do is save these little bits that can be used again. Oops, hand in the blue. And get rid of the rest of this mess out of my way for right now. I'll try to get this done before I gotta sign off of here and get ready to go. All right, now here's the big, the big question is what color beads? Oh, oh mercy! Let me find some to throw around and look at. Okay, so well, I probably should zoom you back in for that. Oh crap! Okay, that's way in. Woo. So now, let's see. This coppery color kind of matches the frame. Got a lot of teal in there. That's an option. Black is always an option. Gold. And the silvery platinum, they're called silver. Those are probably, I don't know, what's that? Aztec gold, that's kind of pretty. All right, so there's, that's what I got to decide on. I think the black's going to be too boring. I'm going to get rid of the black. Turquoise, I don't think will show enough. I'm going to get rid of the turquoise. I think it's between, this is too greeny looking. So I think, are these the same color? What is that? Aztec gold. Aztec gold, and these are just smaller, so I'm going to get rid of the bigger Aztec gold. So now we're down to this silvery looking platinum color. I think it's got to be this one. I think that, look, that looks pretty good. That's what I'm going to go with. Done. Decision made. How about that? Alright, now let me find my little tray. Uh, that wasn't good. That's a crack the lanch. 
behind me, and I don't even know what the hell I'm not. Oh, no. Oh, for God's sakes. My whole big bucket of art foamies. Snuffed it. That isn't really a great place anyway, to be honest. So it's not their fault. Okay, here's a little aluminum pan. I try to do this over so that I can salvage some of the beads. And get out my um, glossy accent. If this will work or not. I had it on one of these tips, but it actually glued itself in and I pulled. Oh no, the bead that was no there no beads were no beads lives were lost in that crafty lamp. Alright, let's see if this is gonna work. So first what I do starting to come out of there a little bit. So I go in all these holes where there is gold showing through. Some of them are going to be too small even for micro beads and I'll leave those alone because it's better to leave it alone than to force it to try to go in there and it look like crap. Learned that the hard way. And another thing you got to watch when you do this is once you put the glue in here and as you move on to another spot and you come back, depending on how the tiles are connected, how closely, the glue settles and sinks down lower. And uh, that makes it a little, you got to put more glue in it or the beads are going to look concave when you lay them on there. Right. I'll seal these tiles later. Oops, hello. This is probably all going to sink down lower because of all this open area around this arch. All right, let me see. Let's see where we are. Stop here. It's funny how when you start doing this, you find more thoughts than you originally thought you had. And this also, um, in some instances, like here's a good example, with this turquoise tile and this stripe, that's going to bring that bright orange color in between those two dark areas right there and give it a little bit of separation, which I kind of like the look of. So now I'm just going back 
watching this settle a little bit and adding more where I think I need it. this gothic little bit. You want this to sit a little bit like this so it settles, but you don't want it to sit long enough that it starts to harden up and then it's not sticky for the beads. All right, we're going to call that good. Actually, I'm going to put some right in this little area. This tile moved down a little bit from the frame before I saw it, but I could have still squidged it up some. But that and they actually came out pretty good around there. I'm pleased with how that. Patty just sent you my final payment. Says Penny. She says, okay, thanks, Helena. I appreciate that. I can't wait to get together. I'm going to see what we come up with doing at the Queen's Inc. on that Tuesday. That will be fun. Fun way to kick it off. All right, now I just pour this around the glue. Some of it's just going to bounce off. but it'll stick where it should stick. I don't know if you guys can see these little beads, how they're bouncing all over everywhere. I get these at, um, it's O-O-A-K, what's that, one of a kind? Uh, Art Emporium, and she's got the biggest collection. I like the metallic beads. She's got glass ones and different kinds of ones, but the metallic ones I like best for this. In my opinion, they look the best. What the hell do I know? I know, I know, I ask myself all the time, but in my opinion, those are the ones that I like. All right. Okay, so this, I'm going to put a cap on this. What time are you going to the Queen's Inc. on Tuesday? We don't have it set up yet. After lunch, I'm sure. Um, I think I'm going to shoot for around 2. That'll give people time enough to get there that are arriving in the morning and us a long enough time to stay and make it home back to the hotel for dinner if we want to go there for dinner or just grab something out that night. You know, it depends. It'll give people options. But we're not, I gotta, it depends on Patty at the Queen's Inc. Uh, so anyway, these are how they look, just all kind of laying all over them. See them all laying here loose. So now I'm just going to dump those to excess. Off. And sometimes I need to come back with a brush and brush them off the other tiles, but I don't see that that needs to be done. So here's what it looks like. You can see right here. <clears throat> Come on. Focus, 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 you little rascal. And around the around that, a little strips down here. Not focusing very good, is it? And then a little dot here and there. Right now, this I would clean off a little bit where that kind of overlapped that teal, would straighten that edge. And here I put a little bit up here. I gotta straighten that up a little bit, it looks like. There we go. Find a little fun brush.
All right. I think I'm going to call that done. Well, done for now. I have to come back and seal it. Once we work it out with the queen, I'll send another email to everybody so everybody has a shot at doing what they really want to do and can make arrangements accordingly. But, um, you know, everybody's scheduling to arrive on Wednesday. Some of them that are local are going to drive in a night before, some flying in a night, a couple nights before to get adjusted for time zones. So we got people all over the place. So we'll do the best we can to accommodate everybody, uh, which will never happen as we all know. <laughs> so anyway, let me pull this back some because you can get the whole thing up closer. All right, so here's what we got. All right. I'm pretty, pretty pleased with that. So I'm going to let this set up and I'll probably come back later tonight or tomorrow and um, seal the tiles that need to be sealed. Scrape up my little excess beads. getting bent up it's hard to find a straight edge to pick these up <laughs> oh I'm glad you did too Rihanna yep I knew I'd be queen of something one day, Denise. <laughs> All right. There's my $5 secondhand shop frame. I like it. Now, where the hell will I put it? That's the question. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Thanks for hanging in there with me. It was a long deal today. What were we? Four hours. Oh, on the nose. I'm at 11.30 to 3.30. Hey, bunny. So hopefully this all is going to record, and hopefully it'll let me push it up to YouTube. We'll see. You never know. If not, you can come back here and catch what you missed uh, on my Ustream page. And I'm going to say goodbye. See you next week. God willing and the tide right.